Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with the Planet Crafter. And I'm here at my main base, and a lot has happened since the last episode. I have gone off screen and done a lot of gameplay. I basically set up another, another save game and tried to see if how far I could get. And I managed to get myself to the point where things are growing. We've actually got water flowing we've got rain we've got all kinds of good stuff and i kind of learned along the way in order to do that because trying to just do this the way i've been doing it which is kind of like by the seat of my pants i didn't know what i was doing and been learning some stuff i man managed to well die several times <laughs> so i know now what not to do and how to best make things go a lot better. Now, for starters, I will tell you this. Where this base is, is not going to work. This is where we start off. And it made sense to, to build a base where we started off. But, unfortunately, this is going to turn into a lake over time. That is the eventual outcome because it is the lowest point on the map. And there's all kinds of water frozen up there in a little cave up there. And eventually, with that and the rain, this is going to fill up. So it's not going to work as a base. They don't tell you that. The tutorial doesn't tell you that. But, I will tell you this. What we need to do is we need to get as much of the, the basic supplies, materials picked up out of here as that we can so that we can utilize them and there is a place that we need to build and it's up here basically near that first wreck in the episode 2 because up here we've got some seriously flat ground it will not have water settle out there and it's a perfectly good place to set up for long term so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't get some oxygen built up here first we need as much oxygen as we can get and I'm gonna go back up here to our little base that I had set up near the first wreck and we're gonna see if we can't start making a proper base and I have managed, through trial and error, to learn how to do that as well. Now, right now, things are very inhospitable. But as you can see, this area right here, notice how flat it is? This place is ideal to build a base. Perfectly ideal. Now, I'm not sure, but I think this little mini base I set up is a little bit too close to the wreck. I'm probably going to have to build it a little bit more where the flat area is. Let me take a good look at it here. I'll jump in and get some air first. Yeah, there's not much in here at the moment, but yeah, it's a little too close to this a little bit too close to this and there's a lot of rocks and stuff around we want a nice big open area if we can get it and let's see I think I have enough to build a new starter yeah I want to get this nice and flat and big 
And I think right here is going to be it. Yeah, this is it. This is going to work. So what we need to do is we need to build our little living compartment. Got to make sure it's green. Got to get a front door and we need titanium to finish that off. There's some right there. Now as far as which direction our door needs to go, I don't think it really matters necessarily. But... I'm going to go with this right here. Alright. There's our first living structure. This is not a temporary base at all. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to maximize our space as best we can. And I think in order to do that, we're probably going to need to go left to right and build extra compartments. But first, we're going to need some materials to do that. We're going to need iron and... Titanium. And I think silicon, I believe. Either silicon or cobalt, I don't remember. Silicon, yes. It won't hurt to grab some ice because we need that to make water. Alright, we've got... we got meteors coming in, guys. Things are getting ugly. These things can hit you. But I want to get an idea where they're falling because they bring a lot of good stuff with them. Looks like they're hitting over there by the wreck. Supposedly the colors will tell you what they're bringing with them. Looks like cobalt. Yeah, I think most of them are going to be the basic materials in the beginning. Let me go ahead and drink some water. Let me see if I can't build my next compartment here. Well, it's not going to let me do on the side, but we'll try... Oh, shoot. Well, it is letting me build this way. It's not easy to find a real flat area, that's for darn sure. Let me grab some more iron here. Let me get some more titanium. Shoot, it is really not easy to... Okay, we got that. Grab some more iron if we can. Alright, I need to get some oxygen here. This is not working, guys. I'm going to have to try something a little bit different here. Shh. 
just not placing properly. I need to find a place where these guys are going to set. I think this might be it. Let's try it right there. auction here. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted to go across like that. It might hover a little bit, but I'm going to try to get this as far across as I can here. Trying to maximize the amount of space that I have. Put an opening there. And once we get that, we can start putting up some compartments and stuff. Let's see what we got here. We've got storage crate. We need some more iron. Iron is not a problem. We've got plenty over here in our old base. We are going to have to start transferring everything from this base to the new base. And setting up power supplies and everything like that. Ooh, we got indoor ladder. We're going to have to transfer all this stuff as well. That seems like a pain in the butt, but we got to do it, guys. That's just the way it is. We've already got plenty of stuff here to work with. I'm going to go ahead and grab what I can here. I think I've got enough to make a storage container or two. I'm going to go ahead and jump up here and try to get this stuff transferred as much as I can. Things are going to have to be moved around and moved around and moved around as we upgrade too. But I think this is going to be our ideal spot. Let's see here. We're going to put our containers. The containers are cheap right now. We're going to throw this stuff in here that we need. The iridium. We got food here which we need to eat. already full. Yeah, I'm just going to place these chests everywhere. And transfer as much of this stuff as I can. Grab a little ice so I can make some water. 
Yeah, you gotta make as much oxygen and water as you can, guys, because that is key to your survival in this game in the beginning. Grab a little bit of silicon. All right, we are going to go ahead and grab as much of the stuff as we can, guys. As I've been doing. For everything, break it down, take it to the new place. It's really all we can do. Well, anyway, guys, let me go ahead and get this started. I'm going to be bringing you back once I have moved some of this stuff over. All right, guys, I've managed to transfer just pretty much everything to the new base. I expanded it out a little bit. I'll show you when I get there, but. We've just got this left, and once we get that and these drills, we should have everything. And we're gonna have to go ahead and build these drills again. Because if we don't, we're not terraforming. But the main gist of this is Sometime before things start to change as far as terraforming, we've got to get all the resources out of this big low incline here. This is going to turn into a huge lake eventually. That's pretty much the goal anyway. And when I did my playthrough on the other version, I did have a lake starting to form. So it was starting to cover up all the resources and I'll, that way therefore I want to get as many of them as I can but I have added to my little structure here a little bit I'm trying to maximize on this as best I can I want as we unlock various aspects for building our base I want to make this be expandable and upgradable as best I can. It's really, honestly, it's kind of tricky to do this, but we're going to try our best to make it happen. Now, I do need to make some drills here, and I think, let's see, I think I only have T1 still. No, I do have T2s. So we're going to go ahead and start making those right now. And see, over here, I've got my power coming in. I've got my solar panels. I transferred the ones I had over there and built some more. And next to this, I'm going to start doing the drills. We're going to try to make as many of them as we can. We had three to start off with. I think we need a lot more than three. That's for darn sure. Alright, we need more titanium. That's not a problem. I want to build as many of these as I can. Because I do want to start increasing the pressure. I want to get this sky blue, guys. That's what I, that's what I want to get to. That is the ultimate goal. And once we get to the T3 drills, I'm going to replace these with that. But those require, I believe, the uh, super alloy and maybe aluminum. So that's going to be a while before we get to that point. Oxygen is always a problem. 
But I think we might be able to improve that here shortly. If we don't die. Alright, let's get in here. Yeah, we've got the ability to make ourselves a T3 oxygen tank. We need titanium and aluminum, and I think we have that in here. Here's, there's the aluminum, there's the titanium. There we go, and we've got a T2 solar panel that we just unlocked. That means more energy, and we're going to try to replace that with the solar panels we currently have. So now we can, it's up to 280 for our O2, so we can get a lot farther. Now what do we need to make? We need aluminum and magnesium. We do have that. Actually we have plenty of that. Well, we have plenty of magnesium. Aluminum's a little harder to come by at this point in the game. We can at least make one. And I am going to go ahead and do that. We're going to keep the ones we have for now. And build one of these. There's our first. That should... Give us a little bit more power. Kind of trying to see what we need to build at this point that we haven't built yet. We need to build a beacon because that will lead us to our base. We can put the beacon anywhere. I wanna, let me see here. We need titanium and aluminum. Again, aluminum is a little bit hard to come by at this point. But I think we can fix that. I'm going to grab some... One more iron. A titanium. A cobalt. Another iron. Another... Wait a minute. Another iron. Trying to remember. Yeah, we need silicon, that's what it is. What I need to do here, let me go ahead and drink. We need to get some more aluminum. And get the aluminum we need to come over here with this as you notice over here we did go in the last episode to what this is called the iridium mines and we need to put like a little mobile base here so that we can collect the materials we need and be able to get oxygen whenever we choose to. This place is loaded not only with iridium but also aluminum which we definitely need as well. Plenty of other minerals like iron but the iridium is a big thing. Iridium is everywhere. We also got plenty of, of aluminum as well. See? Here's some aluminum. So our auction is lasting a lot longer at this point. And 
need to try to find a decent place. Looks like we got some water here. It hasn't melted. I'm going to go ahead and place my little structure here. Oxygenate myself here. And go ahead and make a crafting station if I can. Yes, I can. And I need to make a storage place. So that I can put this stuff in here as I find it. Alright. We are fine. We have plenty of water. Do we have oxygen? Yes, we have one oxygen. That's perfectly fine. Let's grab some aluminum. We need that. We'll grab some iridium. Pretty easy to find. It's glowing red. Well, we have managed to find quite a bit of iridium. The thing we need to look for too while we're out here is there are at least three chests hidden in this dank cave. Finding it is not all that easy, but it is here. some oxygen there. Let's check over here. Here's our first chest. We've got food, seeds, water, and more aluminum. And I can't carry anymore. Heck on it. It happens all the time. Alright. Well, we're just gonna have to Huff it back to base. All right, there's the base. We're definitely cutting this a little bit close. Fine. We've got all kinds of iridium here. Well, more than I can store. Double bed. Sure that I need that before I need anything else. Alright, guys, we have managed to transfer everything. We've got drills going, we've got solar panels 
driving energy. We've got our new little base here. Now we did have a temporary base over here. I'm going to go ahead and pick up because we could use the materials. Ooh, that's helpful. We got the T2 exoskeleton available to us. That's definitely going to help. Let me check to see if there's anything in here we can grab. We've got, oh gosh, all kinds of stuff. Let's break that down. Holy crap, I've got a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, let's get rid of that. See, it's too close to that wreck, and it's not quite flat enough. All right, guys, I am back. I have managed to get everything transferred from the old location to this new location, and we are maximizing what we have as best we can. At this point, we need to go back to this whole location and collect as much of the stuff that we can because eventually all this is going to be underwater. Well, at least that's a goal. And one thing I did find out is once we get to the point where it starts to rain, the ice is going to start to melt and we're not going to be able to pick it up. That could eventually be a problem if we don't come up with another method to get water. Yeah, all this low spot is going to be all lake. For some reason, the game starts you at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> so, our little landing pod is eventually going to just end up under the water. You can't do anything more with it. I wish you could break it down to resources, but you can't. So try to get as much of the resources you can that's around it. Because you're going to need them. 